I'm Lisa Lockwood. Welcome to West Coast Weekly. We have an exciting show for you today. First up, we're going to be on location with the prestigious Concourse to Elegance Classic Car Show in Beverly Hills. And then in studio, we have six-foot actor and inspirational global trainer, Marjean Holden. She authored a book called The Power of Goddess and will be playing herself in an upcoming movie. She was a Desert Storm soldier, beauty pageant contestant, undercover narcotics detective, and SWAT officer. She's a motivational speaker and author, and to no one's surprise, the reinvention expert. She's Lisa Lockwood, and this is West Coast Weekly. Welcome back to West Coast Weekly, and I'm here with John D'Augustino, who's going to tell us a little bit about custom cars and his experience with the Concourse to Elegance. Again, we're in Beverly Hills, Rodeo Drive, celebrating Father's Day and the 25th anniversary of Concourse to Elegance. Welcome to the show, John. Lisa, it's always great to see you, <laughs> and I want to say happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there, and I'm telling you, this is going to be the year of all years. Nothing will surpass the 25th until the 50th comes along. There so you just go. remember. 25 years, we're going to be back here. An iconic event, and I'm glad to be here with you because you have so much experience with concourse, not only concourse car shows, but you travel the world. Tell me a little bit about how you started in this industry. Well, I basically started as a young kid, eight years old. I was reading the magazines. A lot of the people from my area, the Italian guys, used to have cars built by Winfield and Barris and Starbird. Right. Uh, and I just got the spark back then. Then when I was 16 years old, I bought my first custom. My dad bought me a 56 Chevy. I customized it, start showing it in local car shows, wow. winning the big awards. Since then, I built over 100 custom cars oh my that I've toured the world with. Incredible. So yeah, you got the bug at 16, and from there on out, this has been your passion, and you've been following it. Right. So you, I, I understand that you just got back from a trip showing cars as well. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, I've been in several trips this year. I think I've done eight or nine international trips. I just got back two days ago from Istanbul. I yes. did a big cruise there. There was a bunch of cars waiting for me, sign autographs. From then, I did TV over in Italy for six days, Neuro TV, which is a big TV company there. Right. I filmed probably 30 or 40 hours of TV, so we got several episodes. And uh, I'm on TV in Germany and Switzerland and Austria. I mean, those are countries I've been going to for years. Why do people come to you? Well, how, do, how do you get your customers? Because I know a lot of it's word of mouth, but I want to know how you establish that. Well, basically magazine coverage. I've been getting international magazine coverage for years. Yes. Actually, since the 70s, so we're talking 40 plus years. Uh, uh, I've been to so many car shows. Actually, I, I've been to over 300 international car Incredible. shows throughout the world. Incredible. And my goal is 500. Be before I'm gone, <laughs> okay. I want to do 500 international shows. The bucket list, and I know you're going to achieve it with no question about I'm gonna that. I'm going to make it. I'm definitely going to make it. <laughs> Can you tell me about, I know you have a relationship with Jay Leno in cars. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, well, Jay, Jay's, uh, really, he's really not in the really custom car scene. He loves them, yes. but he's really not into it. I talked to him about custom cars. He enjoys them, and one of these days, hopefully, he'll end up purchasing one of my cars because because right now I have three cars that are completely brand new, right. ready to go. And I think when I show him one of those cars, he's gonna say, Johnny, I want that 62 <laughs> Grand Prix. I want that 58 Packard. I want that 41 Cadillac. So uh, he'll end up with one of them, can definitely. You, can you tell me about the car we're in front of today? Oh, this is my baby right Yes, here. it is. When I was growing up, eight years old, what's the first car I really seen that really turned me on was the original Hirohata 51 Mercury that you're wow. looking at right now. Beautiful. Uh, I saw it in the magazines. I knew one of these days I would love to have bought the original. But what happened is in 1980, the original was built in 52. Brand new car in 51 Merc, built in 52. Barris design, built by Barris uh, Custom Industries, shown all over the United States. Lots of magazine coverage. The number one custom Mercury in the world is the Hirohata Merc. But what happened? Uh, in 1985, this car was actually recreated and finished in 85, started in 83. A guy by the name of Jack Walker out of Missouri is a very famous custom car guy, had this car built. When this car debuted July 4th, 1985, the Let's Let Spectacular in Ohio stole the show. Wow. I mean, this I car, can see why. This car was like, because <laughs> everybody's been waiting for the Hirohata Merc to come out, right. but the owner, the second owner, never finished the car until 1999. So this car ended up getting about a 14 years of showing before the original came out. So he sort of stole the thunder away from the original. Right. Not because, I mean, the original is the original. It's worth a lot more. It's an original Barris car, but you can't take it away from this car. This car has been in over 700 car shows in 33 years around around America, but never around the world. I purchased the car, 
with a good friend of mine, Jerry Logan out of Portland, Oregon, who's a big car collector, only to tour the world. This oh is the God. last car show for this car. Oh. It goes to a museum in, in, uh, in Sacramento called California Auto Museum. So be there for three months, then the cars will be shipped to Europe, going to Norway, going to Yokohama. What does it take for a gal like me to actually sit in the car? There's no problem. You can We're sit gonna in do any that. of my cars. <laughs> oh my goodness. You gotta remember, this car hasn't been touched in 30 years. And it hasn't been touched in 34 years, and I'm here I about, go. Yeah. Oh my God. Look at this. Watch yourself. <laughs> Look <Woo>! at Lisa. <laughs> Look at Lisa! <laughs> Go ahead. Hi! <laughs> this is amazing! Even the interior up on the roof is just incredible. You've got to it's see the interior like the of this. It's so beautiful. I've never seen anything like it. Lisa. <laughs> I think, what's the last thing oh, that needs yeah. to happen? Going for a cruise! That's right. <laughs> I'm ready. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. I want to tell our viewers a little bit about, if they want to get in touch with you to customize or they're looking for something specific that they've always dreamed about, how do they get in touch with you? To make it easy, just remember the word celebrity. Celebrity Customs with the K. So okay. Celebrity K U S T O M S. That's it right there. That tells awesome. it all. And you'll see all the cars I've done, all the places I've been to, and you'll see what I do and how I do it. Thank you so much, John. We'll be right back. <laughs> I'm Lisa Lockwood from West Coast Weekly, and it's a pleasure to be here with the mayor of Beverly Hills, Julian Gold, and his awesome Father's Day event. Is this not extraordinary that we have this many people on Rodeo Drive, and these cars, I mean, these are not cars you find anywhere in the world. This is, this event for us, now 25 years, yes. is a unique Beverly Hills event. Uh, Bruce Meyer, who's curated this event for us, and the help of the uh, Rodeo Drive Committee, has year over year managed to make this a bigger and a better event. And this year is the 25th anniversary. We have all these silver cars. I, who knew that there were that many silver cars in the world? <laughs> and we have these amazing, exotic silver cars. It's really, really unbelievable. It's, it's a, a moment in time. Well, we're very thankful that Beverly Hills hosts this amazing event. It's drawing so many people from around the world. The car bus from everywhere. And we're about to get into the winner's circle to see some of the awards. Absolutely, so, and we've got some great cars that have won this year. Very, very exciting. Uh, we tell your, your listeners and your viewers, if you're not here with us this year, we expect to see you next. You heard it from the Mayor of Beverly Hills, Julian Gold. Thank you so much.
I am finding a exotic cat here in Beverly Hills, and the person I that's Ephraim, that's right over here, Ephraim, come up. I said, Ephraim, I not only it's the cat, the exotic cat, I want everything in pink. I want I want everything you can think of. Cards, roses, everything. 12-week-old Savannah, pure Savannah cat. This is going to be a big female cat. It's just, oh it's my just, gosh, she's oh, so cool. Look, oh, it's got, look at that face, oh, it's exotic. Kathy, you're going to love this. Chanel. I'm in heaven. <laughs> Being healthy and happy isn't always easy. Stress at home, at work, trouble sleeping, toxins in the environment, even healthy foods can be lacking vital micronutrients due to chemicals and depleted soil. American Nutraceuticals Proven Solutions can help detoxify, reduce stress, and guide the way to optimum health. Balance, restore, rejuvenate naturally with American Nutraceuticals. Available from leading healthcare professionals and at 888vitality.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Lee Aaron Keneally, and I have some exciting news to tell you. I have launched my book, The Cancer Revolution. Do you know that cancer takes 10 years to develop in your body? That means you have 10 years of opportunity to prevent and reverse early cancer, The Cancer Revolution. It will empower you to change your life and turn this disease around. Hi, my name is Tom Julian, the author of The Shepherd. You know, there's hundreds of thousands of people who have felt like the title character of The Shepherd, Tony Castanelli. Alone, no family to count on, friends are becoming few and far between. But God has a way of looking down on those lonely hearts and somehow in his own beautiful way, bring people into our lives who can help us find the direction and purpose that we all need and the happiness we all desire. This is that story. It's a simple read, but it's an inspiring moment. Buy yours today. Patients ask me every single day about water. But water from your tap? Let's get real. Please, please take care of yourself, save yourself by getting Echo. This machine will put in the activated hydrogen molecule that stimulates the anaerobic organisms that we now know has everything to do with your life. Do yourself a favor, get good clean water powered with Echo. My favorite 30 minutes of every day is starting with my sauna. For a stressful day, this is probably one of the best things you could ever get. An amazing platform for natural healing. Oftentimes when people do the weight loss programs, they start feeling like a little yucky during it. If you create or use the infrared sauna, for instance, and you're detoxing along with the weight loss, you won't feel yucky, you'll start, the weight will start peeling off. If you want to learn more about infrared technology, contact us directly. The information is on the bottom of the screen. Welcome back to West Coast Weekly. As promised, I have Marjean Holden in studio today. Welcome to the show. Hi, Lisa. Hi. <laughs> Thank you. You are so dynamic, so beautiful, so fabulous. You've done so many things in your life. My gosh, you've been yes. in the entertainment world for three decades. Um, <laughs> <clears throat> yes, I was five when I started. <laughs> No, but you, you've, yeah. been, you've been holding your own as far as entertainment industry and then transformed into personal development yes. world yes. and currently doing that and yes. currently still doing your yeah. acting. Yeah. I'm trying to drug, you know, it's, it's <laughs> like when I first got into acting, I had this big dream of being an actor because I wanted to influence people's lives. Okay. And then, you know, some of the shows that I was doing were not exactly influential in the, <laughs> in the way in which I wanted them to be. So. Um, so when the personal growth world came around, I thought, oh my God, I love this energy. I love being around this kind of energy and I can really possibly make a difference here for people in their sure. lives. So 
You know, I had a friend of mine who was, um, he's a shaman and he's this, this big guy and he said to me, oh, I see you on stage with all of these people. And so here I'm thinking like maybe Broadway or something like that. Sure. But nope, it ended up being in the personal growth world. Yes. And being on stage and transforming people's lives. And he particularly saw me working with a lot of women and transforming a lot of women's lives. So. And I have to tell the audience yeah. a little secret. I've actually <laughs> seen her on stage transforming lives and there is nobody, no woman on the planet who does what she does oh, thank you. because you come from a beautiful heart space yeah. because you've had things that have ha happened in your life that you've oh, had to overcome absolutely. and that's absolutely. our it's been our best teacher yeah and then it's not always yeah. not always in the moment though no no <laughs> it's like, no but the oh. faith the faith is that it's going to be there how yeah. long have you been yeah. doing transformation helping people with that oh let's see i started in 2000 i i, I took one of the 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 courses that really launched the desire sure. in 2003. Okay. The end of 2003. And then in 2004, I started volunteering and kind of playing with that sort of energy right. of coming back and giving back because I had received so much from it. And then in 2005 was when I said, that's it. This is what I want to do. And it was prompted by somebody asking me, when are you going to do this? Right. You know, when are, it was, and it was a guy. He was like, when are you going to start training people? When are you going to do this? And I was like, Oh, I didn't even, like, I didn't, in my mind, I didn't even know that was sort of an option. This is right? a running thing, Margene. A lot yeah. of times, people have more confidence in us than we do. Totally. They become the mentor. They become the one that kind of gives us the boot out that right. say, you can do it because they yes. see that. And you you know that and you teach that. No yeah. question about that. Exactly. So I know you took a little hiatus from acting because you had your yes. beautiful daughter. I did. I did. <laughs> so yeah, you're a I, mommy. I am a mommy. <laughs> yes, a whole new world. <laughs> <laughs> Cue the song. Yes, you know, yeah. A whole new world. <laughs> yes. Oh, gosh. Yeah, yeah. And, and she's becoming a teenager. So that's an even, even bigger whole new world so, so do you encourage yeah. acting for her you know what i don't simply because she hasn't shown the interest oh perfect what she shows interest in are not the things that i mean i can encourage her but she like she's into art and she's into you know more creative things with her hand she's, she loves building things like she'll you know she'll be like mom dad and i built a fort out of sticks and this and that you know for her for that. you know a couple years ago it was for her whatever munchkins or whatever they were yes. you know for <laughs> her little animals and dolls and things oh, like sweet. that so she would build like little forts out of popsicle sticks and and all of that kind of stuff so she's really good with her hands mm -hmm. you know and she used to ask me when she was young like like i mean she's still young but when she was like Mm, five or six years old she's like mom am I gonna go to college and sure. I was like I don't know it depends on what you want right and whatever you want that's what I'm gonna encourage you to do and now she's parents you know, need to it, hear that loud and yeah, clear encourage yeah. the children based on where their interest is where their interest is right. where their desire is you know so I always encourage her you know it's like I was I was living in in San Francisco <clears throat> and had um, had had a roommate at the time who was an artist sure and he was a graphic designer and he was a cartoonist and when she met him she was like oh do you think he would teach me how oh, to draw wow. and I was like mm, I don't know I don't know but she asked me for an entire year ah you knew. for an entire year you knew. would would he teach me would he teach me and and so after a year I said to him I said Will you teach her? <laughs> you know, I'll, sure. I'll, you know, I'll pay you. And and she loved her lessons with him. I love that. Loved it. So she got some good technical. You know, it wasn't just about oh, we're gonna draw some flowers and things like that. He made her do technical, you know, exercises that would actually develop her skills. Sure. And she was she was right there in it. Right. You know, my little Capricorn. <laughs> she was like, oh, I am on this. God I can bless. do this. You oh, know? where so, does she get that from? And oh, I don't know. That leads me, Margie. <laughs> As a, as a six foot woman yes. and being put into films and being kind yeah. of typecast into certain roles yep. that tend to be very masculine, yes. you have become the premier coach on masculine energy and yeah. feminine energy. Yeah. Let's talk about that because you've got the balance. Yeah, and big, big subject. It, it yeah. is. So it really just is. a little touch on, let's define a person having masculine and feminine energy, what right. that is exactly. Well, we both, as as females, we have masculine energy and as males, they have feminine energy yes. as well. It's just a matter of whether you're accessing it or not. Right. And I learned very early on that in order for me to like get things done, because the masculine is the energy that's like, I'm gonna get this done, I'm gonna go for this. They're, they're very straight, 
You know, it's like it's like when you have an arrow when you pull the bow back. Uh, you know, the the the. I don't even know what it's called. Yes. But when you pull the arrow back and then and you shoot, the, that, that's the masculine energy. It just goes straight. Directed, Directed on their path. on the path, going for it, right? Mm -hmm. And so, you know, way back in, in the day, like the 60s, 70s, when the feminist movement came out, it was like, women, you can do it for yourselves. And, right. you know, a lot of women were like, oh, can't. Can I do this for myself? Oh, maybe I can. And then it sort of swung the other way where where feminines were out there like just doing it for themselves, like I'm not gonna depend on a man for anything. And, sure. And going that way. And, and the developing balance, a complete shift. A complete shift. Okay, so that complete shift of going fully into I'm the I'm I'm my own boss, I'm my own driver, I'm my own everything, right? Sure. And then it started to be like, oh, well, now that I'm doing all this, now I'm tired. Mm -hmm. I'm exhausted and I'm completely burnt out. Sure. Right? So what what do I need to do in order to have, you know, to, to feel peaceful in myself? Oh, I gotta get back to the feminine. Right. <laughs> it's like, oh, let me swing back to the feminine and do things that, you know, we in our minds as strong alpha females considered to be either weak or um, you know, not strength, sure. you know, when sure. we're out there in the world. Like, okay. You know, take some time, go hang out in nature, you know, have a bath, go get your nails done, you know, do do more feminine types of things in order to swing that that pendulum back into that balance. And get the balance back and again. And get the balance back. In again. the in the power Absolutely. of goddess. Yes. We're we talking about yes. <laughs> this journey because yeah. this has been your journey. This it is has. this has been your totally. entire life of totally. getting the balance again. On the yep. exterior you look a certain way. Yes. You know, I was in law enforcement, I was in the military. Exactly. I had success. I needed to behave a certain way yes. in order to have that success. And then how yeah. do you get the balance? And how do you get polarity yeah. back? Yeah in order to even attract the person that you want in your life, which right. is so important because yeah. certain things can repel. Yeah, but totally. You have to you have to live congruently yeah. In, yeah. in the power that and you have. And it took a lot of work. Yes. I mean, honestly, it did. It took a lot of work and, and not so, so much like the physical work, it took a lot of mental work. Yes. Because I had to overcome the belief that, oh, if I do this feminine thing, I'm going to be weak. Oh, I, oh, people are going to look at me like I'm not strong or whatever. And it really took someone who was in their in their hyper feminine to say, "Look." And just like, you know, Brené Brown says, you know, there's power in vulnerability. True. And until I actually got that that there was power in being vulnerable, power being in that surrendered state. Sure. That 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 was when like things kind of clicked and switched for myself. You know, it's like, "Oh, oh, Oh, I'm not weak. I'm 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 okay. I'm okay. Yes. And I can I can express my emotions. I can show tell up people what's going authentically. on. Authentically. Show up authentically, yeah. ask for help. Like like oh my gosh, you know, for years it was like, no no no, don't ask anybody for help because <laughs> if you ask for help, you're so weak, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and like that whole thing. It's true. You're yeah. you're a trainer on stages, yes. you're a coach, you help people through these processes, you're also an actor and you're doing yeah. all of these things. Yeah. Best way to people for people to get in touch with Marjean Holden is Facebook. Facebook. <laughs> Facebook. How easy oh my is gosh. That? How yeah, easy is Marjean that? Holden fans on Facebook. Because I, you know, I've gone through the whole website thing, but you don't know, need it. I'm, I don't it's know. a new world. I, I am like I am like <laughs> hopeless when it comes to that. So I'm like social Thank media you. is much. Better. You're such a yeah. beautiful soul. Thank you for joining us today. Course, and that's you. the end of our show today on West Coast Weekly. Again, I'm your host Lisa Lockwood. We will see you next week.